Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Healing Guys to Row. This is going to be your love reading for April. Oop, fell out. 2021, 20, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Okay. So we're starting. Oop, they're popping out like crazy. Look at that. Okay. We're ready now. So we're starting out with 8, the strength here. Could be a Leo. Or it could be your energy here. And Ace of Wands. So something new is starting for you. Something is coming in. Something exciting. And we have, what's your, actually right now you're probably taking a little time out. You're healing from something or you're relaxing. Okay, and the recent past we have five of wands, conflict, competition, struggle. Could be um, some something going on where someone was competing with you or, or um, starting trouble. We'll clarify that. And we have choices over here. Seven of cups, fantasy, and temptation. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, look at that. Ultimate achievement coming in. Lots of money. Okay, King of Wands, visionary leader. That could be you here. With the um the King of Wands. Could also be a Leo or Sagittarius, but this is generally your energy here. And let's see. M Eight of Swords. Imprisonment. And we have two of Pentacles balancing act. And then we have Nine of Pentacles, Steady Progress. In the bottom we have Ten of Swords. So something has ended. It says painful ending, but something's over. And when you get the Ten of Swords, it's done. It's not coming back. Something that was painful has ended. Okay, let's see. Why do we have this Eight of Strength here? Why is the Eight of Strength here? This line looks like, don't mess with me. <laughs> Guide. Okay, so you're being guided. Could also be like the um, Virgo card here. The, um, what am I thinking? What? <laughs> oh my god, I keep getting stuck here. I can't think of the um, Hermit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, this Hermit card. So you're being guided. You're having strength because you're getting um, guidance, from uh, spiritual guidance. That's making you feel stronger. Okay, now... So you probably went deep within, was in solitude for a little bit maybe to figure things out. Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Four. Okay, now maybe with this healing and recovering it because maybe someone took a little fall, maybe, you know, hurt your foot or something and then you had to, you know, be in recovery mode here. But it also could be in the fall time this is going to happen that this new uh, spark comes in and whatever it is that energy changes. Let's see. Or maybe and someone took a fall. Like, um, what I mean is like they got blamed for something they took the fall for others or something like that too. But it's all going to turn out to be okay. So let's see. Four swords, right? Fear. Okay, so we're going to have to clarify this energy, but you have a, <clears throat> you're healing, and there's like something that you probably, this is more like um like the Nine of Swords being kept up at night, thinking about something, trying to recover from something. Okay, now the conflict and the competition. Patience. So in the recent past, there's something going on that there was <clears throat> conflict, competition, and you had to have patience, because <clears throat> it looks like all the other cards, you're coming, you know, you turn out okay here, so... Oops. Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Signs. Okay, you're getting signs. So whatever these choices are, you're going to have signs to try to help you figure out what you, which way to go. And the Ten of Pentacles. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles? Karmic Partner. Definitely going to have to clarify that one too. Let's see. King of Wands. Understanding. Okay, so this is your understanding something. You're understanding that you got a visionary leader, so you're becoming a leader and you're gonna have a better understanding of things. And eight of swords. Why the eight of swords here? Bound. Ooh. Okay, so someone sees you as trapped or bound to something, stuck.
Another one that we have to definitely clarify here. The answer is yes. So whatever you're going to decide here with the Two of Pentacles, this balancing act, is going to be correct. And the answer is yes there. Okay, now why do we have the Knight of Pentacles, which could be a, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Let's see. Crossroads, gee. So we have the crossroads here. Can we have that someplace else? Well, we have the Two of Pentacles. That's like having to decide on something. Okay. The bottom deck, we have union. So there's going to be a, you're going to um, have a union with someone here. You're coming together with someone. But now we'll have to clarify why we have these other cards here. Take this deck, I think. All right, I want to know about, yeah, what's this going on with this fall here? Let's clarify this fall card. Any more of this fall card. Three of swords. Hangman, two of wands. Yes, yeah, so something, something that made you sad. You've seen a whole new perspective on this, but you're waiting for something to come in. So whatever this was that you definitely like two waiting cards here, two, two of wands. So that's why maybe something isn't going to come together until the fall, but it'll be divine timing. And this is probably what's making you really sad here, that you have to wait that long. I think I'd rather see something come in the fall than to hear that you guys took a fall. <laughs> okay, how about the Four of Swords and Fear? Let's clarify that. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Wow. So here, we got the Five of Wands here and the Five of Wands here. So there's definitely competition. Someone's being sneaky, but it's going to work out. So, so whatever you're fearing, because maybe because you know that people are doing stuff and they're trying to be sneaky, and you're afraid of what they're trying to do, don't worry about it. It's coming out. Justice coming out. That's Libra energy. It's all going to work out. Okay, so that's good. And let's clarify the patience with the Bible wants here. <clears throat> Six of wands. Six of swords. It's weird. Two fives and two... And then we have the page of wands. So in this one... You're getting, whatever this was that happened in the past that, you know, the struggle and stuff, yeah, it's definitely saying that things are going to turn around in your favor. You're moving away from what was not serving you to something better. You're going to probably get some kind of information. It could be an email, a letter, a, a call or something, and it's going to, you're going to become victorious over this, you know. You're winning out, so it's like, you know, kind of... You got the five um, wands here, five wands here, and five wands here. You have that six wand saying, "Ha, I did it! I beat you guys! I'm better! You know, I won." And and you're moving away from this conflict, this energy, to something better. Some you're getting an offer of some sort here. Okay, how about the seven of cups with the signs? Let's see what we get on that. Ace of swords. Three of Cups and Five of Cups. Okay. So, Five of Cups. Okay, you're worried about what you lost, but you're going to be celebrating in anyway. And there's something new coming in. There's definitely something new coming in. There's an offer coming in. You do have different choices. And I guess one of the things that you probably have to let go may, maybe makes you sad. But it's definitely going to turn out you're going to be happy in the end. So you got three of cups. You're going to be celebrating. Because there's something new coming in. This is going to bring in a brand new um, beginning for you in something. And it's cutting out what doesn't, doesn't serve you. Okay, now, ten of cups with the karmic partner. This is very interesting. What's going on with the ten of cups with the karmic partner? Nine of swords. The magician. And the Wheel of Fortune. Oh. So, we have a Knight of Swords coming to you. So, they come quit pretty quickly. And someone wants to talk to you. They are manifesting this. And they're and it's going to happen in divine timing. So, I don't know. This could be the karmic partner. But they are coming to talk to you. And, it, you know, you do have the Ten of Pentacles. This is going to bring money. This is going to bring your finances. It's going to help improve your finances. So this could be a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And here, this is Aquarius. 
Okay. How about... We definitely have to clarify this. Why do we have the Eight of Swords and the Bound here? Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Well, that's very interesting. So you, there's someone that's coming in here that I feel like they feel like they're bound to you, this um, Knight of Cups. And that could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And they might did something sneaky here, but I think you're cutting them out. It's like you're not you're not gonna put up with this. This would be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini energy here, the Queen of Swords, because you you're wise to this. This is a very um, interesting energy here because it's just it's you feel like you're bound, but I don't know. Or maybe you do have this. For some of you, might have this. Um, you can't let this person go, even though you, you're moving on to other things. There's still a connection there that you feel. Because um, but they're they might be watching you, trying to see what you're up to. Okay. Let's see. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles here with the crossroads? Six of Cups, someone from your past, and the Empress, and yeah, because the Empress can be um, Taurus here. And then we have the Knight of Wands. I don't know, there might be a lot of people in, involved in your, you got the Sun here too, Leo energy. So the King of Wands could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could be your energy there. I almost feel like that's what it is. You're the King of Wands here, and you have the Empress coming in here, and you have this connection. So you're at a crossroad because there's other people that are interested in you. So, yeah, you're you're able to manifest a lot, but you have this Empress here. That could be your energy, too. And um, you could have a, a King of Wands that's interested in you. Whichever way it feels like it fits for you guys, but someone that's able to nurture and create and... Um, manifest quite a bit here but there is a, a deep connection with someone from the past so however these this sign works out for you but i think there's other people interesting you have wands you have the um sagittarius leo and aries here a couple times you also have all the air signs and then you have the air signs just and the water signs you have cups here yeah, and you also have Earth sign there. Yeah, so all the signs. So there's, I think you have more than one person interested in you, but you, for some reason, maybe you and this person, you're bound together. There's something here. That there's a connection that you can't probably cut off. This might be this karmic that's coming up as a karmic here that they're trying to manifest you, but there's something sneaky about this. Or it could just be the fact that they're watching you. They're trying to figure out what you're up to. And um, it might not be too bad. It might be just the fact that they're asking about you and just watching on social media, trying to figure out what they can figure out, what's going on in your life to approach you. Because we have the sun, the bond here. So there's, it's going to turn out to be a happy, happy thing. I mean, we do. Do we have the ten of cups here? No, we had the ten. Well, ten of pentacles, right? We had the ten of pentacles. Hmm. Well, it looks like a pretty good reading. I think you have there's um different there's a couple of different people that are interested in you. So they're coming in, and but you do have a real deep soul soulmate connection with this person over here. Something from the past with the sun coming out over here. This this person makes you happy. Whoever this person is from the past, or you make them happy. But there is going to be a decision. You're hanging in there. You're seeing things differently, though. He's well, Sagittarius, I hope you like your breeding. There, don't forget, we have the union card here. So there is going to be a con uh, connection here with this person, I think, up there. But you do have other people coming in. So... Good luck with that. I hope you liked your read. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And please leave a comment. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.